Okay, for today's video, we're gonna go over leg length discrepancies. And we're gonna talk about the two main types. We're gonna talk about structural leg length discrepancies and then functional leg length discrepancies. So first of all, to get an understanding of what's happening here, I've got both of my feet flat on the ground, both of my toes are pushed up next to a flat straight object. So I'm trying to keep as much balance and alignment as possible with my foot position. And when I lay on my back, what I'm going to be able to see here is that the left leg looks quite taller or longer than the right leg. This observably looks like a structural leg length difference, but it's not really. When I move my pelvis to level, notice how both femurs level out. Both leg lengths become equal length again. When I move my pelvis out of position, rotate it up higher or tip one side more forward than the other, it again creates the observable structural leg length discrepancy. So one of the things that people reach out to me a lot about is, hey, I've got a structural leg length difference. Can your program help me? Or I've got a functional leg length difference. Can your program help me? Well, let's talk about the structural difference first. This is probably one of the most misdiagnosed. Now, it's not saying that you don't have a structural leg length difference. I'm just saying it's one of the most misdiagnosed ones because a lot of people get a leg length, a structural leg length discrepancy diagnosis by maybe a PT or a chiro or somebody observing that one side looks longer than the other. So when one side looks longer, it's really easy. It's quite easy to dump this into the category of, oh, one leg's longer. Uh, your structure is different. You've got a structural leg length discrepancy, something like that. One foot looks longer, one shin, one leg bone, you get the idea. But what we're really not being careful of is understanding that when imbalance develops and becomes severe enough between the right and the left side and the pelvis rotates out of position, it can make one leg look significantly longer and feel and work quite different than the other leg. Same thing with arch position too. Both feet can be the same length structurally, but if one foot functions differently than the other foot, one foot is going to appear longer than the other. And not only is it going to appear, you're actually going to measure it and it is going to actually measure longer. But again, it's not structurally different. It's functionally different because one side works different than the other. So if you have a structural imbalance, let's say the disparity between right and left leg is a few millimeters. Okay, so we've got a few millimeters of difference. Let's say the left leg's a little bit longer than the right leg. Well, this is obviously, if it's a structural issue, we can't change that through exercise. We have that structural issue. One side is different than the other. If it's only affecting us by a few millimeters, what we wanna do is work, still work on improving balance and function between the right and the left sides, even though we're not going to get it 100% perfectly balanced. We want to make sure that a couple millimeter of a structural difference doesn't go completely out of check and create so much imbalance that now it's almost half of an inch of a difference because we have the slight structural difference. Now, because one side has worked so different than the other, it's going to eventually evolve over time into quite a significant change because the muscles are functioning very different between the right and the left side. So if you have a structural leg length discrepancy, our program can actually help you by taming how things are working differently between the right and the left side. Are we gonna get it 100% level? No, because the structure's off. But reducing how imbalance lines up can help us over time keep that structural difference in check. If you have a functional leg length discrepancy, meaning one leg is longer than the other because of how the body functions, well, then the program is going to help you even more because by reducing and, and leveling the imbalance between right and left side, we're going to move over time towards equal leg lengths again. True functional and structural leg lengths again. Hope this video helps. Leave any comments below if you have any questions on this. Um, just for a little bit more of a breakdown on, on why and how the pelvic position or rib cage position can affect leg length discrepancy, maybe I'll make for another video. But in short, we've got these femur thigh bones that connect right at the top of our pelvis, right? So we've got these two ball and socket joints that are, 
are intrinsically connected to the pelvis through a variety of tendons and ligaments and soft tissue. If our pelvis rotates higher up on one side, or if one side of the pelvis tips anterior and the other side tips posterior, what we're gonna have is a change in position of the two ball and socket joints. And if the right pelvis comes up higher, so is that right ball and socket joint, which is gonna again, make it look structural, but it's functional because the pelvis is closer towards the rib cage. So restoring balance and function in both hips over time, being able to actually get back to a level pelvic position is going to put both ball and socket joints on the right and the left side in the same position, thus giving you better function, better balance. Hope this helps.